Good morning, Knicks Nation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is Friday. It is the 19th day of August 2022. Happy Friday. I hope that you are healthy and safe today and that your family is the same and that the needs of you and your family in terms of food and shelter and clothing, as well as health, are being met today. Blessings upon those that work in the healthcare field trying to save lives along with the first responders and those that pick up garbage for us to keep streets and sidewalks and parks clean and those that make deliveries for our convenience. Double blessings on the men and women trying to help deliver, rescue and recover the victims, the teenagers and the children, the victims of child molestation and pedophilia. Also, victims of pornography and child pornography, victims of prostitution and child prostitution. Victims also of sex slavery and human trafficking and double curses on the perpetrators, the profiteers, and those perverts who traffic in this human misery. Finally, blessings upon the homeless. 600,000 men, women, and children on the streets of the United States right now and millions around the world in similar or worse conditions and blessings on them, for theirs is the kingdom. Brothers and sisters, about maybe two weeks ago, I did a video about Julius Randall and the possibility of him being traded. And I told you at that time that LeBron and his decisions could hold the key to Julius's future. And the reason at that time I said that, if you recall, is because LeBron, there were statements made that were put out that LeBron has said he wanted to play at some point in his career with Brock. That would conflict with a long-term, or for what LeBron would be a long-term um, commitment to the Lakers because Bronny, if he come to the league because of LeBron, whether you think of him a player or whatever, he's going to be drafted in the lottery. And he's going to be drafted by a team that doesn't have a great record and it's probably not going to be the Lakers. So there would be a conflict between the Lakers' long-term plans and LeBron's desire to play with Bronny. Recently, this week, in fact, we know LeBron signed a $97 million two-year extension to stay with the Lakers. That shows his commitment to the Lakers. Now, at that point, when, when this was going on a couple weeks ago, the rumors, the word came out that the Lakers were reluctant to part with the 27 and 29, 2027, 20, 2029 first round picks in the deal. Also, we know now the Lakers are determined to move Russell Westbrook and replace him with some assets that could help LeBron get a chip this year. Okay. Um, the Kyrie thing is dead. People keep bringing it up for clicks, but Kyrie ain't coming to the Lakers this year. It ain't happening. Okay. And unless the Lakers are giving up 27 and 29, for Kyrie, now, that's a possibility, but um, I don't think the Nets want Westbrook's salary, and that's the issue. Which brings us back to Julius Randle. The rumor already came out from Ian Beck that the Knicks had discussed Julius Randle to the Lakers. The Lakers were inquiring about Julius Randle. Now it all has come into play. And I told y'all at that time, in fact, I think the title of the video was the three team trade we all have been talking about between the Knicks, the Lakers, and the Jazz. And so at this time, those two picks are in play because of the fact that now the Lakers have a commitment for two years from LeBron. See, so two years from now, you're talking about 23, 24. Excuse me, 22, 23, and 23, 24. Now you can go out to 2031. The Lakers will be getting back some picks way in the future that's unprotected. But for now, they could try to win some chips with LeBron while they got him and while they got AD. So this being the case, they are not concerned with Julius Randle's contract. They want people that's going to help them win. And of the two teams of Utah and the Knicks, he's the best player available on both those rosters. They could get him. Now, how uh, the deal will materialize, I don't know in terms of who goes where. But at the end of the day, it will end up with those two picks from the Lakers being involved in this trade with the Knicks in Utah. It'll be Julius Randle going to the Lakers. What other players 
you know, are involved and how many picks other than that are involved. I don't, I won't know. I'd be guessing, but I'm very confident now that Julius Randle days as a Nick are numbered. He's going to be wearing purple and purple and gold. And he's going to be playing with LeBron because those two picks are now available. The Knicks could deal with Utah directly or they could deal with LA directly and get the Westbrook contract, get a pick or two, send Julius Randle and whoever could be Evan Fournier, could be Derrick Rose, could be Cam Reddish, send them with Julius to the Lakers. And then the Lakers will have what they need. Now, you also have on, as you all know, on September 4th, Utah can then deal Patrick Beverly as well as Jordan Clarkson. Now, Beverly is interesting because he's way past his prime. I mean, I think Beverly's 32, 33. Um, he was always a, a, a dogged defender, right? Very high level defender. But now, you know, he's still tough, but for 13 million, I don't know. See, and he's expiring, so that might make him, you know, some of interest to the Lakers. But I would think if they were going to go after that guy like that, it would be Derrick Rose, who's also expiring, who can come off the bench and do real damage in a playoff situation for the Lakers. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, but I would think that those players are going to be involved. You're going to see Donovan Mitchell, possibly Jordan Clarkson, possibly Patrick Beverly. Julius Randle, and then some other ancillary pieces. But the fact that LeBron has committed now to the Lakers, he's basically saying, okay, I may not be able to play with my son, Bronny, but I want to commit to the Lakers, which is the right thing to do. And then the Lakers saying, okay, with that commitment, now we could use the two picks and, and bring some more talent in and move the Westbrook contract. So these things are moving parts, but with that news, that LeBron signed the two-year deal, to me, that means a commitment to the Lakers. And that means the Lakers now in turn can say, okay, if you're committed to us, we can move these two picks and try to get you some more players in here. It will not be Kyrie Irving because the Nets are not dealing him right now. Okay. Because they, they, they don't want the Westbrook contract. The Nets, that is. They don't want the Westbrook contract. I'm not sure what direction they're going in, but they don't want the Westbrook contract. So, that would not happen. They're going to hold Kyrie. LeBron needs to try to win a trip chip starting now, 22-23, because he's only got a few more years at the level of play that he has. Some of y'all think I'm, I'm just like in love with LeBron because I keep talking about him. And some of you, some parts actually told me, don't praise LeBron. Some of y'all must be out your God. Excuse me. Some of y'all must be out your mind, man. LeBron is not my favorite player, but I recognize talent. And I recognize greatness when I see it. Okay. Some of y'all just want to be evil about the thing. The boy's, you know, a generational talent. You don't have to like him. You know, it is what it is. And he got four rings, period. To me, that just respect. Okay. LeBron, not my favorite player. He don't, I mean, if I made it all time top five, he wouldn't be on the team. But I got to respect that he's an all time great, period. End the story. All this, you love LeBron stuff. Y'all need to, some of y'all got issues, man. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. So the Knicks, I have a very strong feeling. Look, Randall will not be a Nick, uh, come training camp. He will not be a Nick. They're going to focus on Obi Toppin. Also, if you saw just as a minor thing, but it was a sign to me, the Jalen Brunson introductory press conference, they kept showing Obi Toppin with Jalen Brunson. And did y'all notice that? Did you also notice that the focus has been this summer? I mean, uh, Julius played with Obi and, and Jalen in the league, but then the, but the focus, the media focus on Obi and Brunson. I think they really are going to trade Julius Randle. I'm starting to really feel strong about that, that, you know, with this deal with LeBron saying, I'm committing to the Lakers and the Lakers saying, okay, we can move these two picks now, LeBron, and get you some talent in here. I'm feeling Julius Randle's not going to be a Nick. I think come training camp, you're going to have Obi Toppin as your starting power forward. Um, what they're going to have behind him, you know, some of y'all want Lamelo, Mel, uh, Carmelo. I don't know, but I'm just saying, I don't want to guess right now. Uh, 
like I said, right now we got five players that's guaranteed to be here opening night. RJ, Mitch Robb, Hartenstein, Jericho Sims, and then Jalen Brunson. That's the five players we got. Anybody else could be traded, you know, and that's the real. Um, but with this commitment to LeBron of two years, LeBron signing that 98, almost $98 million two-year extension, to me, those 27, 28 picks, uh, 29 pick from the Lakers good is gone. And they're going to turn that into a Westbrook trade that gets him out and move some, some talent in that's going to help LeBron win a chip this year. Ain't but so much available out there. Julius Randle is one of the best players that, that are actually available that some team will take the Westbrook contract for. So, um, this is going to be very interesting, but to me, this was major news with him signing this extension. Uh, it's, it's, it means that what we thought was true, there's going to probably be a three team trade. Westbrook's contract will either be coming to Utah or the Knicks. I'm not sure. Randall will be going to the Lakers. I can almost guarantee you that. And it looks like Donovan Mitchell can be coming to the Knicks. Now, like I said, I like Donovan Mitchell. We've been talking about this ad nauseum. He's, he's a tremendous talent, but they're going, I really want to see Cam. And Grimes get their shot with the Knicks, but it, uh, brethren, I don't know what the Dons are going to do in terms of the trade, but I do know the Lakers are very interested in Cam Reddish, and I know that they recognize his immense talent, and he will get a full opportunity to be in the starting lineup or, you know, heavy minutes in the rotation for the Lakers with Darvin Ham. So, um, this is, this is, is going to be, you know, it's going to be bittersweet. Uh, if we, if this gets done, uh, but I also want to say this, even if, if Ainge starts playing games, you know, then Nick could deal directly with the Lakers. They don't need to deal with Utah if they don't want to. Okay. And, and that gives the Don even more leverage now because the Lakers are really interested in Julius and we're interested in clearing long-term salaries. That deal could get done also. And we, and they probably could do that with just giving us one pick. We don't have to take both their picks. We could do that. We could send Julius and whoever to the Lakers. It'll probably be Cam with some other vet. And then we can get the Westbrook contract, you know, waive him and then, and have that money for next summer and then get an additional first. You know how the Don rolls. So. We could deal with the Lakers now without Utah. If Danny Ainge wants to play games, he could go kick rocks. But this here, this allows Ainge, if he's playing his cards right, to get four unprotected picks. He could get the two from the Lakers. He can get two from us. He might even get a protected pick from us. He can come away with a nice haul that won't hurt us too much. And the Lakers will get what they want and he'll get what he wants. But it's, it's you know, this is up to him. The Don ain't going for the okie doke. So. We're going to see what happens here, but I think now, um, Randall's days as a New York Nick, I can tell you now, I feel very strongly they're, they're, they're numbered because the Lakers are going to make a move. Um, uh, and they're going to use those two first round picks to do it. And they're going to use, they're trying to get rid of Westbrook's contract. How many teams the NBA are willing to take on Westbrook's contract? There you go. So, uh, we're going to see what happens, but in the meantime, Please enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there. Watch your back. Be careful. Um, it's a dangerous world we live in. Every weekend, somebody's getting killed. So be careful. Enjoy yourself. Watch where you're going. Watch your surroundings. Be safe. Stay healthy. Shabbat shalom to all those keeping Shabbat. Shalom.